I have been talking to the famous cult, Heaven's Gate, for the last week. Now, if you don't know what Heaven's Gate is, I will give you a quick rundown before we get into this email exchange that the first half of it is, you know, kind of fucking with the guy in the second half. I actually start asking him questions, but still kind of fucking with him. Uh, all right, so the history of Heaven's Cult. Uh, it was found in the 90s by this old guy who liked to portray himself as kind of a Jesus figure. Um... And so what they believed was that a comet came by every 2,000 years, but hidden behind the comet was a spaceship. And if you killed yourself every 2,000 years, boom, you hop aboard a spaceship. Now you may be asking yourself, well, if they all killed themselves, which they did, they all uh, took poison applesauce, um, how are you talking to them? Well, they left some representatives behind to apparently man the website that is demanded to not be changed. It has to remain the same, and it still is. You can go visit it. But let's stop lollygagging around and let's get into this email exchange with a fucked cult i start off the exchange pretty light um i just say hello i'm looking to have some questions answered regarding heaven's gate so i'm so that i may be enlightened do you care to answer some and the man answered back very recently he said we will try that's it these people are very blunt in their responses they kind of have no sense of humor or anything they just give you the straight facts which is kind of be uh kind of to be expected from a cult so i say how does one get to the next level right now? Do you believe in a god? And if so, what's his name? So right now, I'm kind of laying the groundwork, kind of, you know, the guy doesn't think I'm fucking with him. The opportunity to graduate into the next level does not exist now. We ha we'll all have to wait. Typo. Uh, the, v is an ultimate god, kind of like a chief of chiefs. Okay, oh, okay. I'll just have to wait, I guess, lol. But that's very interesting. So if he's the chief of chiefs, who are the chiefs that he's chief of? Pretty, pretty reasonable question. It is like a chain of minds of minds of <laughs> up the line. Son to father, son to father, etc. All right. <laughs> okay. So I am technically one of the chiefs since I'm a son. I was hyped when I read this. Uh, I was like, fuck yeah, dude. I'm a chief of something. I might actually join this cult right now. No. <laughs> that got shot down right away. Um, Heaven's Gate doesn't want to lead you on. They're not uh, a middle school girl. They just want to get right to the facts. Oh, okay. So how does one become a chief? And then I was with a friend when I wrote this, and I and he said, and also, what is your stance on homosexuality? If you allow it, are you a bundle of sticks? Uh, that discussion is way above your pay grade. I actually don't get paid. As for the issue of sexuality, it does not matter. As long as you are celibate and thought, you will be entered into the kingdom. Who are your chiefs? Also, are you forced to wear Nikes? Kind of like a brand deal. Um, if you don't know, they all died wearing Nikes. And Nike had to stop selling that type of shoe. And you can actually, if you want to buy it, it is, goes for like thousands of dollars on fucking eBay and shit like that. So the guy just said goodbye. He saw I was fucking with him. So throughout this process, I had to make four different emails to keep going with the guy and didn't change my name at all. Each time I'm Mike Donovan. Every single time. I tried to... uh you know, get the guy back because I didn't want to make another email again. Uh, I, you know, I'm sorry, all that stuff, but it didn't work out. I had to, you know, send him another email with a whole different account. This is on the same day. Hello, I'm looking to have some questions answered regarding Heaven's Gate so that I may be enlightened. Do you care to answer some? He responds, we will try. Uh, I sure hope so, dude, because if you don't try, then why the hell were you left behind uh, for years, 2,000 years? Thank you. So first off, how many of you were left behind to spread the message? Um, I already knew the answer to this question because I've I already did some research before. You know, I emailed them. At that time, it was about eight, but all have died except the remaining three to four. How is it three to four? You should know the answer. Two of us are in Arizona with maintaining the communi com communication center. Very interesting. Now, is there any pay involved or is it just for the cause? Uh, I, I feel like it's not a very profitable business, so I kind of knew the answer. No pay! This dude is doing God's work. We will work full-time jobs to cover all costs, even legal. Uh, when I when he wrote that, I thought he meant, like, even legal as in, like, there are legal people. Like, they have, like, lawyers. So I asked him those questions. Because um, I know they are currently in a dispute with Lil Uzi because Lil Uzi's artwork for Eternal Atake or Atake, whatever it is, um, they are currently suing him. Oh, okay. Uh, so would you rather have sexual relationships with a Hamburglar or your fat, ugly wife? Um, as you would expect, he did not answer this, so I had to make another email. 
Hello, I am looking to have some questions to answer regarding having gate. And I made sure for the first three to not change shit about the way I responded or set the first one. And he might have caught on, maybe, because there's three of them or two of them, you know, answering these emails, going back and forth. So the guy just says, sure. Doesn't even bother to capitalize the first letter. What's your favorite genre of music? I was hoping to maybe lighten them up. You know, get 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 them loosened, you know. Uh, y- y- just Just see if I can get to the person behind the email. We don't have any. And now notice they, I just asked him what his favorite genre of music was. And he said, we don't have any. Like, all right, dude. I meant you, but interesting. <laughs> does your religion, does Jesus have anything to do with your religion? Um, and he responds, he was an older member from the next level who came down to earth 2,000 years ago. Now, this is where I actually start asking this guy legit questions. So then I say, could you explain that a little more? Like, was he a creator of the universe, and is he still the son of God in your belief? Or has he been misinterpreted and actually just an older member sent on a mission? I wanted to ask this guy as in-depth with uh, his cult as I could to see if there was any holes in it, or uh, if he could even answer the questions, which I was pretty sure he could, but just to see if I could get him to trip up. No, Jesus was not at the level of being the creator of the universe. Yes, he is also the son of his father which would make sense. He was given a task to do and is assigned the planet Earth. Um, He was and is assigned. So, all right, whatever. Wrong grammar there. So from that information, would that mean on other planets there are messiahs like Jesus? Now, there's nothing funny about this. It's just like I'm talking to a cult. So I like figured I'd take the opportunity to actually, you know, get inside this guy's head. Yes, other older members assigned to them. Uh, So that means there's multiple planets. So I said, is there an infinite amount of planets or a finite amount of planets, but an infinite amount of universes, which is a broadly accepted uh, scientific theory of the multiverse? Um, One universe, several harvest planets. Uh, When your religion says the phrase harvest planet, uh, dude, that's messed up. Several can mean multiple things, though. In everyday speech, several means like five. But when talking about something of such scale as the universe... Where there are billions of stars in each galaxy, not to mention there are billions of galaxies, several can mean a couple million. Do you have any idea how many harvest planets there are? I didn't expect this guy to have any idea, and he responds, we do not know. Sounds about right. Hmm. (laughs) Does your religion believe in science? I know that is a broad question, but essentially what I'm asking is, does your religion believe in hindering the process of any progressions in the scientific field? That ha- that may disprove some of your beliefs, EX the Big Bang, and then causes your religion to evolve, or do you disagree with such theories? And he responds, it is not a religion, it is pure science. All knowledge that this planet gains comes from the next level, making that knowledge available to the world. The Big Bang is completely possible in the next level. Creation and evolution work hand in hand. So what this guy was kind of getting at here is the fact that We don't really discover anything. We just advance as a society and then it's given to us and we're allowed to know it. What does that exactly mean? So when scientists work for years to discover the cure to a disease, it isn't actually their hard work that discovers the cure. It's the creator rewarding them for their hard work and allowing them to attain the cure. Um, Which, to me, that's a pretty big hole. Like, why would he even, like, let them do all that work and not just give it to them? Yes, the information... For that is a part of the atmosphere of the planet, and those people pull it down. When mankind was ready for atomic energy, for example, a person pulled that information down and others would follow and add on to it. That is why it is theoretical science and takes a while to become an applied science. So is there any need to even do research since we can just wait for that information to become ready? Um, Which I already knew that was kind of a dumb question because you just answered that. No, it is the effort applied via free will that makes it happen. It holds with everything mankind does. You have to push to discovery, push fro the medical breakthrough, and finally push to actually make it into the next level. If you do not, if you do not, you will never make it. Free will is a greatest gift to the universe. All right. Well, here's where I would like to debate you. Um, First off, is there any concrete evidence of the next level existing? And second, why would the creator um, and second free will is a great thing it's not exactly a gift why would the creator not give humanity free will if i basically said if people do not have free will then like what's the point you're kind of just playing a video game no there is no evidence for mankind 
Um, and then he says, that is how great free will is, which isn't really an answer. I was kind of just trying to debate him. And he kind of just threw out that little one sentence. So it's all just based off believing in something that you were told. No offense. I'm just very skeptical. <laughs> um, I, do, I don't think that shows how great free will is. It's just, you know, I'll just read all that because I got to talk about this. So this guy did not respond to this email, of course, because I, you know, offended him. He's kind of a snowflake cultist. And uh, I had to make another email. And this one I decided to just go all in and name it not Mike Donovan. Um, hey, can I ask you some questions about your group? I didn't even bother, you know, like, I didn't even bother trying to, like, you know, change up. Or I didn't even bother typing the thing from before, because when you talk to a cultist for this long, you kind of get tired about it. So, in all honesty, uh, I don't really learn that much more from this guy. Where are the other Harvest Planets? What are their names? And he kind of, I think he might have, at this point, kind of caught on. So the whole Mike Donovan thing. And he didn't even bother putting an I in front of that. He just said, don't know. Um, now, sometimes they use, like, you know, compound words. And then other times they're just like, nah, fuck this guy. Or sometimes they don't. And then sometimes they're like, I don't really give a shit about this guy. We're just not going to do it. What do you think of the term cult being used to describe your belief? It is an, not an appropriate term. More importantly, sociologists don't feel it is an appropriate term. So this is where it kind of ends, and thanks for watching, everybody. There's two more emails, but what I kind of wanted to say is thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, follow my SoundCloud, Red Boma, for my podcast. Uh, maybe I may make another video on this guy because I feel like I can do a lot more with this. But, yeah, hopefully you learned something. Maybe you laughed, and I'll see you in the next video.